Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the final little um, show and tell, the little uh, ending of my little series I did for creating mini journals. And these came out so super cute. I absolutely love the way they came out. So I have the two red ones here. So I ended up with the two red ones. Um, then I did the two blue ones. And then these three were just uh, random uh, fabrics that I have. And they are just, oh my gosh, adorable. And the final measurements on them are um, two by three and a quarter, and then there's a half inch spine. And all of them have 80 pages, you know, front to back. So let me just show you. And I, this one I used red thread. I try to sort of like match the threads with the um, the book to give it, you know, just to be a little different. Um, so we have the red. We have the sunflowers here. And as you can see, the papers are just random pages. Some blank. Some are um, book pages. So, I mean, definitely plenty of space to write. Um and yeah, it's so cute. So I'll just give a little walkthrough of each of them. So these two are the same. It's just the pattern on the front's a little bit different. Um, then we have the two blue ones. So again, same type of papers on the inside. And they are both closed with this, um, it's like a sheer ribbon. There's a word for it and why am I completely spacing out on what the word is it's um oh my gosh I don't know but you know what I mean it's like a sheer ribbon oh that's gonna annoy me now organza it's organza ribbon <laughs> there we go um, and then we have this one so it's the same material just taken from a different part of the material so it does look a little bit different and then we have this one, and this has little sunflowers on it. Super cute. There's the back. And I did use blue for this. So there is that one. And I'll, I'll tie these actually after. Um, and then we had this little one here. And this had the little kids on the front. And it looks like they're playing leapfrog because he's jumping over his back. So I think that's what they're doing. And again, a whole bunch of random pages. So there's that one there. And then the last one was this one here. And this is just some pretty flower fabric. I wanted to um, do like a pink string. I didn't have any pink string, which I'm really not surprised because normally I um, have strings that are like um, a neutral color kind of. Um, but I ended up doing the green because I figured it kind of like tie together the green in the stems and everything. There's the inside. And just like the others, random papers. So they're all the one little signature semi hardcover. It was made with, uh, you know, the mailing, um, the uh, junk mailer. And it's nice and thick. And they're all sewn around. And they're all just so super cute. Like, I can't get over how cute these are. So that is the final walkthrough of them. I hope that you guys uh, go ahead and give this a try because we all get so much junk mail. You know, the thicker junk mails. Um, and even if it's a little thinner, you could probably just uh, fold it in half or glue two pieces together to make it a little thicker. Or you could do, you know, a thinner one. It doesn't have to be thick. Um, but yeah, so definitely give it a try. It's so fun. Um, it will help use up, you know, any scraps that, uh, you know, scrap paper you have left over. It'll help use up little pieces of fabric that you've cut down and, um, you can't, 
you know, use it on a bigger journal. It's just a perfect project almost to like clean up your craft desk or your craft table or your craft box because we all have little bits of papers. We all have little bits of fabric and we all get junk mail. So <laughs> with all those elements combined, this is really what you can come up with. And I think it's so super cute and I really enjoyed watching um, Pam's video and, um, and then recreating this myself. So I would say definitely give it a try. And I hope you did like the little series that I made for these. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.